Hello everyone. Uh, if you remember my Pioneer T838, it has a flickering display. So I decided to disassemble the boards and replace all capacitors on this board scissor because uh, this helped me with uh, Akai JXF91 to restore the indicator. If you remember, this was acting sporadically due to different ADC levels like, uh, and so on. All right, so I had to disconnect the front panel to get access to the boss boards and be able to uh, remove them. That's a amount of parts which needs to be disassembled. Okay, now I would be starting to removing one board and then another board and let's see how everything is there. All right, boards removed. Couple interesting things, right? These pots installed in this metal plate and metal plate installed on top of the board. And the interesting that this uh, bias knob Sorry, it's my dog. <laughs> Bias now, you see. And it's an optical element which conducts the red light from LED through the hole in this knob right here to the top of this knob here. Okay. That's how complex this part is. I hope you can see it pretty well. All right, so there are cups on this board, there are cups on this board. I need to see what's below the indicator, if I can get there. Let's see, one cup on this board with motor. All right, let's see. And this very cup cluster. All right, see you soon. Okay, and while I'm working on recapping this board, it appears that only two capacitors on this board with the indicator and CPU sits uh, below, right there, you may see. And uh, this blue one is the uh, quartz for 4.19 megahertz, I believe. All right, so I decided also to replace the buttons as I have them. And like, while everything is open, it's, it's reasonable to do it, so. I'm using this button from DGK. You may see tactile SPST and O or M0, right? So the trash is the old one. And you see those like on Pioneer, they have seven millimeter tall buttons, right? These actuators. All right, moving on. I hope everything will work. If not, I will continue my research. See you soon. All right, everyone. Recap recapping is complete. As you may see, all cups has been replaced on both boards. Buttons replaced, so it's time for assembly. Let's see. What I mentioned is that this board uh, has this like motor control, like for real motor and for the but operation motor like for cam motor and like not too many capacitors on this board to filter power drops all right there is just one on 1000 microfarads right here in the level sensor and volume sensor all right let's see all right deck has been assembled uh, i still need to I had zip ties, but I decided to validate before uh, fully assembling it back. As you may see, indicator works. All right. See counter stops from time to time. I don't, don't understand it. Even if motor works properly. All right, let's see. Let's rotate and use playback mode because that's the mode when like everything was going pretty bad. All right. All right. Yeah, flickering persists. I'm not sure what else. I validated all connectors, all wires, like everything is soldered well. 
there is no issues, any other issues with this deck. But sporadic flickering, sometimes it can work for days without flickering. Sometimes it can do it like a couple hours in a row and then stop and then like work again. I'm not sure. It's maybe CPU aging. Uh, you see, I replaced almost all capacitors on the power supply. And just very few left, like the one, two, three, four, five, six, which I didn't replace. Touching them like don't don't change anything. All right. So whew, it's been how many? Two and a half hours now. To disassemble everything. Recap and assemble everything back. Now buttons work like from the very first touch. Much better than was before. Before sometimes they've been skipping. Now that works, but I don't know like how to overcome this flickering. If you have any ideas, uh, you might post under my video in the comments. I will take a look and see if I can find something reasonable, but at this point in time, I don't know what else I can do. Deck works, this flickering doesn't affect any audio or like uh, logic. So I mean that uh, main CPU and the tape transport, everything like work together in audio part, only the part with indicator. So there is separate CPU for indicator and like three capacitors. <laughs> And that's that's how it behaves, all right. And this is a red LED working through this optical no, lights conductive part. All right. That was not successful repair as I hoped for. We'll see. Let me know. Bye. Okay, okay, it was flickering for about one minute and after that it stopped and works fine. And it's been like already 10 minutes I'm recording different kind of music on this deck. It records really one to oh, Okay, <laughs> it started flickering again. Oh my. Really. I cannot find the pattern when and how it does it. Maybe high level of signals. Let's try reduce. No. It just does it by itself. Alright, investigating more. Okay guys, I have read through the forums and it suggests that it's a common issue for this model. 959, 979, CT93, 858 and so on. And everyone says that problem in the cold solder or transistors in this area, in the power circuit board. So, uh, this means I have to disassemble everything back and pull this board and check the solder and like reheat everything, make sure that it will work. It's appeared to be a common issue. Surprise, surprise, right? <laughs> All right, I didn't read about it before. See you soon. All right. This would be another attempt. <laughs> as soon as I start filming video, it starts flickering. It was just playing like well for 10 minutes. No problem. I thought about it as soon as I will start and it will flicker. That's how I started video and it starts flickering. I replaced it uh, a few more capacitors as you may see. Uh, like one, two, three left. I resoldered all transistors, uh, resoldered these diode bridges, and uh, there is like a set of power wi power wires, which there is a jumpers below this cage. So there are jumpers which um, jump power from power supply to this side of the board. So I resoldered them as well. But uh, it's kind of like, it's really get hot or is it get cold? I'm not sure what's happening. It's nothing happening like that. It's 
not a crack in the boards. It's kind of some parts. Full power supply. So this two and this two transistors power for audio part. And the rest here is uh, power for the rest of the board for electronics, motors and so on. Okay, we'll continue my research. It's time consuming, as you may see, and results sake. I probably will start measuring temperatures and see what what part is is like heating up and starts doing it. Alright, see you, bye bye. All right, all right. I just replaced it five volt supply uh, chip, and I thought it will start working, but you just seen yourself it flicker. Oh my, nothing helps, really, guys. I'm not sure what else I can do. There was so much work with this deck, and it's still not ideal. All right. I will stop doing it for today. I will see probably read more forums results other guys achieved, but looks like uh, this set of models is a little bit problematic, or at least we need to know what to fix. See ya. All right, everyone. <laughs> That's the first time today, like when like I did something, replace parts playing like for 10 minutes as soon as i start filming it starts flickering it was not flickering before i started filming really no single time uh what i did uh, i decided to check minus 27 volts uh, supply because uh, this like makes uh, indicator lead and I resolder it transistor and surrounding logic and I'm also replaced it um, 6800 microfarad capacitor on the which corresponds for 12 volt supply which gets to this board uh, with the main CPU and it's as you may see it still did not help right so next step I will be um, validating like uh, 3 volts uh, AC uh, for the um, uh, heating of the uh, VFD indicator and if it's fine so I will try to narrow down like at this moment I think it's a rather like let's see how it's blinked if it would be a power it will go dim right away but from what I see, it's kind of do it sequentially. So I'm not quite sure how to react on it. I have read forums, like uh, some guys were successful uh, defeating it by replacing capacitors on the power supply. Some resold uh, re the transistors. Uh, so far I did everything I could and there is no light in the tunnel yet. Okay, it's been a long day. I hope you're still interested because like um, there is no information how to defeat these problems and I will be trying like to do uh, better research. So far I'm puzzled. Okay, okay, <laughs> finally I'm filming and nothing flickering anymore and that's the reason you see the small teeny diet what was happening uh, I was supposing that it's probably minus 27 volt right uh, reference voltage for the uh, lighting LED not LED like a VFD display and I was measuring voltage and pretty weird thing was happening like so there is like two resistors transistor diode and two capacitors also cut uh, when I measuring on the resistor like uh, I touch it and voltage 
from minus 27 starting to drop slowly to the zero. <laughs> All right. Uh, when I push it to the side a little bit, oops, it works fine. I, to the other side, again, I can start dropping. Okay. And uh, I saw like resistor, but how this like uh, one fourth of what resistor? Okay. It's flickering. Oh my. But now, like I was measuring, minus 27 volt was super stable. <coughs> <coughs> and I measured it then, like uh, AC voltage for the heating, and it's 5 volts in this deck. And it's fine. So like, uh, I'm I'm quite lost, All right? I saw that I fixed it. Now like voltage is measured pretty fine, like so there is no any reason it should be flickering. Ah, sorry guys. I thought it will be final, but it looks like it's not. We'll dig more, but not sure if I would be able to fix it. All right, all right. I decided to check if it will start flickering <laughs> when I start filming. Uh, you see, tape is closing to end, and it started flickering as soon as I get my phone up. At this moment, I'm shocked because it wasn't flickering for about like 10 minutes, and I saw that problem solved. But again, like, uh, as soon as I start filming, I see it's flickering. I hope it's not me, and we would be able to see it on video. <laughs> all right, what else I did? I resoldered all those wires, which are, like, swirled around these posts. I moved these uh, fuses because like everything shows sign of oxidation and I decided to check if it will be an issue. So you see, I'm pushing the board, nothing happening, no flickering. So at this point, moment, I'm not sure like where to, to search. All right, see you. All right, all right, assemble it back. And really, <laughs> uh, it's not flickering 99.9% .9 of the time, but it does once as soon as I start filming. I'm not sure how it's connected, but <laughs> you just seen yourself. A couple seconds after I started filming, boom, it was one flick. All right, that's recording, records fine. But it's fine again like as i told like uh disassemble is not a problem like assemble back that's why you have to remember every single screw and where it should go to right so this deck is like recap it minus two capacitors <laughs> uh resolder it everything i could resolder like um Replace it diet, replace it uh, power, I see for microcontrollers. Uh, tested power supply, everything looks to be good, nice, no more issues, all right? I will be observing how this deck will perform. So far as you may see, that the crazy flickering issue is not reproduced anymore. I've seen one flick, like, then like in half an hour, half an hour another flick, it just I quickly glance and that's it. I will be continue monitoring this deck, see how it will perform and if the issue will gone. I will keep you updated. So far it will be it for tonight. It was a long day, it's like 9 p.m. And I hope the deck will start bring me enjoyment and not a problems. See you. Okay, it's just flicker it again. <laughs> I'm not sure what else I can do for it. See you guys.